Howdy folks and welcome to another Cyberpunk 2077 video. I got a banger for you today. We're gonna go steal a fucking tank! So hit that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's go get ourselves a basilisk. Patrols every half. You're here. What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh huh. That's exactly why I had B come and stand right in front Got of me. Got no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? We're pissing Militech off, so they hammer us into the dirt right here. Oh, oh boy. Pan Am, can you please tell him? I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul. Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. And in smuggling. That's what I said. <laughs> Thought you and Solid agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You wanna fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. Fuck it. And you plan to grab the basilisk cow. Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. You know, even after losing all those people, this clan still seems to be pretty decently sized. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? 
Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. None of that sad sack bullshit, so... Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. Yeah, let's rock and roll. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. <laughs> but are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. About to say, why are we just sitting here? Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Had a hard time leaving my family, too. But was never... Had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie. I'll remember that. We have arrived. Clearly. Bastard. We like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. <laughs> Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? No. Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Talk to nomads is optional. Okay, well, who am I talking to and what for? What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. Well, Teddy is just being dead weight. Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Once you have both, you have real power. Any of this goes south. You know, Pan Am will be the one to pay. Do you see us hanging her out to dry? Do you see Saul letting us off the hook while Pan Am takes the fall for everything? I'm starting to like this kid, Ted. She thinks she cares about Pan Am more than the girl's own family. He 
think you want to use Pan Am to get rid of Song. Listen, V. You know what makes a good leader. Not some cliched adages, that's sure. The ability to overcome adversity, solve conflicts within the clan, trounce efforts to undermine your authority. Meaning you're putting Pan Am through the nomad school of hard knocks? Breeding a good clan leader? Pan Am? <laughs> I was thinking of Saul. Pan Am <laughs> is a goddamn pain in the ass. It just happens that's exactly what Saul needs. Alright, had enough talking to them. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. That was quick. <laughs> look for another way in, she says. I just open the door. The stairs it is, then. Oh, I almost missed that. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. I've always been fond of trains, and the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. I can understand that. Okay, here we are. Hmm. Oh, well, well. Okay, it must be here somewhere. Hey, look thoroughly, please. Got something. Good job. Carol, we have a card. What now? You have to put it in the reader. Well, V, the card in the reader. <laughs> in we go. Here goes nothing. V, I wanted to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But, is that all? Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? Because I'm trying to run No, uh, I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. 
I went out a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. <laughs> All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Hold on a minute. up here real quick. Yep. Already finding stuff I can use. I'm gonna break my legs real quick. Up and over. Come on. Nope. It won't let me. Damn it. Nah, Pan Am's definitely more my style, though. Get your ass down a minute, honey. Hey V, there's this thing I really need to use your help with. Heavy stuff, please come to the Glen in the evening, sending you the location now. Meet me in the evening on the corner of Pacifica Boulevard and Market Street. Well, I'll get to it. Hurry up and wait. Sounds about right. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. Hold on, it changed my damn mission. came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contents. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. Mm-hmm. We'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion.
<laughs> well, that was a little late, don't you guys Jackie. think? She remembered. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. <laughs> Here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, B. Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. But actually, before I get in. Ben, Susie, you guys still here? Hello? What can't? Oi, fuck you. So, the future is closer than expected. Um, I don't know if you guys have, uh, All right. how knowledgeable you are about the speak. Neuralink device, which essentially is the brain chip that they plug into your, uh, the implant in your brain, and, uh, it allows you to take control of technology access computers, um, potentially in the future even fucking uh, just pull up information from the internet in your head. We yeah, I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Cheap. Wait, no coming in hard. Take out that couple. He's dead. We got it. Take cover. Give me the loot.
Okay, there's another cyber psycho in the wasteland. Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunger junk together. <laughs> Real fun is just start mention Teddy. Diamond, if you ask me. That went off very suspiciously without a hitch. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck, so it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from... Problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! We'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with bio... The frocks out of my sight! And the Basilisk? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Trucks around back. We need to unload. Oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. <laughs> Seems still to be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. Sounds about right. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better... Be waiting. Take care. <laughs> 